today. Today what? I'm gonna unbox the Supreme and Tag Hoyer, Tag Hoyer, Tag Hoyer, Tag Hoyer, Tag Hoyer. I'm sure it's Tag Hoyer. Pocket Pro stopwatch in white. Racist. Supreme and Tag Hoyer Pocket Pro stopwatch. Last Thursday, I went on the Supreme website because I got a notification. So I quickly logged in and instantly scrolled down and saw something called Supreme and Tag Hoyer. Now I knew that this was a collaboration, and usually, from my understanding. Whenever there's a collaboration, it's most likely gonna be a hyped item. So without thinking twice, I quickly put it in the cart and started checking out because I didn't want it to be sold out by the time I was putting in my <laughs> credit card info and home address. <laughs> I think it's still sitting, bro. So I purchased it. For about a whopping two hundred and twenty-eight dollars plus shipping fee of ten dollars, you fucking idiot. Two hundred something dollars. Two hundred and thirty-eight dollars in total, you fucking cunt. And what I realized is that instead of selling out, it was just sitting. So that was a pretty bad day for me, realizing that I can't resell it. <laughs> Since I couldn't resell this. Particular product, plus Supreme apparently doesn't accept returns or cancellation on confirmed order. I decided to be positive and just keep it for my personal use, especially since I already have a Tag Heuer watch. Anyway, fake. I thought it could be a great additional collection to my timepiece. Fake. And the more I think about it, the more I can imagine myself using this in a very useful way. Really? I realized I could keep track of my time spent while I go about my daily routine, such as cooking, you showering, studying, brushing my teeth, watching TV, watching YouTube videos, napping, working, gaming. Working out, eating, coaching someone. Wow. And so on. So without further ado, I'm going to roll up my sleeves and start getting to work by unboxing this product. Yeah, yeah, you go and do that. Right here. Out of frame. Out of frame. It's out of fucking frame, you fucking idiot. So. Here's the shopping bag. They gave me a bouncy ball. They gave me two stickers. Very generous. Thank you, Supreme. Finally, here's the box. Goes with my Tag Heuer watch. As said before, there's another writing here saying Tag Heuer stopwatch, Tag Heuer stopwatch. It says white here. I, I don't know if they're ever gonna release a black edition or if whether there, there already is a black edition. So I'm just gonna Open the box now. Okay. It says Tag Heuer and Supreme on it. Hmm. I wonder if there's batteries included. It would have been very cool if this were solar powered. I guess this is a strap so that you can put it on your neck 
or just carry around more easily. Oh, this is very cool. I quite like that. That's very neat. This looks like it would come off so that it's detachable, but I don't know how to do this. I don't want to break it. Is there anything? Oh, there's a little compartment here. Very neat. I guess that's the, the manual instructions. It has all major languages except Korean. This is all very confusing for me. So there it is. I'm just gonna attach this, may as well. I guess you can just carry around like this and then you can show off to people that you have a Supreme Tag Heuer stopwatch at your office. I'm wondering if this runs right now. Oh, oh my goodness. It runs. There's no setting up or there's no, nothing like a Tamagotchi or something where you pull out like a plastic strip of piece and then like it restarts or something like that. It's, it's just, it's just been there. Zero, it's just been waiting to be started. So I don't know what all these stuff does. I guess I'll have, I'll figure that out one day. I don't know what this button does either. Maybe there's a YouTube tutorial or something somewhere. First and best since 1994. I'm assuming that they're talking about Supreme here, not Tag Heuer. And I'm assuming if you wanted to change the batteries, you have to unscrew these and the lid will just come off. And I'm wondering how you can turn this off. Do I, is it like an iPhone where I just press this for a long period of time? I don't think so. I don't know what's going on here, but something is ticking. Some kind of time is ticking. I'm pressing and holding every button that I can. Now the number stopped, the ticking stopped, but it, it even makes a sound. That's incredible. That's amazing. This is really complex for me. I'm gonna have to learn this like, like my grandmother learning to use a smartphone for the first time. I gotta figure out how to turn this off, guys. I'm just gonna have to leave it running like this for the time being. Okay. Well, good night.